I'm not entirely sure how to answer it. Obviously, it's not good enough. What changed after the first drive? Well, first half, we moved the ball well. Um, you know, we stalled out on, on the other two drives, made one field goal, missed the other one. Uh, first drive, second half, went down, scored a touchdown. Um, and then after that, it was didn't get it on fourth down, threw a pick, and then we fumbled. So, uh, you know, it was those three drives really that, you know, put us behind. What happened on fourth down? Threw it to Jamar and he got tackled. Was that the initial play call or did you change, go to that? Or did you, what did you see on their defense? Yeah, they're playing man. Um, they got me a good play. That's, uh, you know, we weren't able to, to convert there. How did kind of the struggles to get things going on the ground today affect you know what you guys were able to do offensively? Yeah, they got a good front, um, and so when you're when you're struggling running like that, then you know their pass rushers start to tee off a little bit, um, and we knew that going in. We knew their front was good; they were going to be disruptive, um, and we knew we were going to have to score points, and we didn't score enough points today. Did you score? I mean, you uh, go seven for seven on your first. Seven third downs, end up ten for thirteen. You had a conversion on third and twenty-two. With those kind of numbers, it's kind of surprising to see the final score of the game. It just doesn't compute. It's just the turnovers and the fourth down stop, I guess. Yeah, I mean we were down. You know, after we, you know, we were tied. Um, then we didn't get the fourth down, uh, and then they kicked the field goal. And we're down ten at that point. Uh, and then I throw the pick, and at that point, you know, it was uphill battle. What do you feel like today and the result, the way it went down, says about your guys' team and where you guys are at in terms of an ability to dig out of this hole right now? We're not good enough. We're not good enough. So we got to get better. Mike, Pilton just said something's got to change. What do you think has to change in order for you all to kind of figure out a way to play better than you all have, especially against good, these good opponents? We just got to take responsibility for, for how we're playing individually. Um, just got to focus on what you can do better to, to help your team win. I don't think anybody was good enough today. Frustrating that for the last couple of years, you guys have really struggled in short yard situations. I mean, the, the third and one that everybody's talked about, the fourth down. But has it been frustrating for you that that's kind of been a theme the last couple of years? I would say that, yeah. How much is just not being able to really get the running game going this season? How much has it impacted your ability to just kind of manage the games, control time of possession? Just how much has that impacted you not being able to consistently have a running game? Yeah, we, we ran it well the first. You know, after the first game, we ran it well for a couple weeks in a row there. Um, you know, the last couple weeks haven't been good enough. Uh, and, you know, it's uh, when you play good rushers like we have the last s several weeks, you know, you got to keep them off balance and be able to run the ball. And if you don't, then, you know, they're not going to be quite as worried about it. And then their edge guys and are going to start getting push and, uh, play action is not going to be as good. So then, you know, you got to drop back and uh, make plays, and that's what that's what those kind of teams want. Uh, and so that's uh, that's tough when you can't. How much does things or do things change when you don't have T and or Orlando? Because you lost Orlando in the second half. Yeah, whenever you don't have some of your best players, it's always makes it tough. But that's not it's no excuse. You know, we're we're going out there with the guys that we have. That's the NFL. You're expected to go out and, and play well and play up to the, our standard. And uh, you know, it was nice to see Jermaine make a play today. Uh, I think I think Jermaine's going to be a good player. He's going to he continues to get open, and uh, we're going to continue that dialogue that quarterbacks and, and receivers have to have. You know, I think he played well today, and I think the guys that uh, stood in for T, you know, played pretty well today. Did you feel like this was a game y'all? <coughs> show that y'all can be kind of even going to want to the end of the year? Did you feel like that coming into this one? Um, you know, obviously it would have been good to get this one. You know, it's not how it worked out. Um, you know, we we'll just go back to watch the tape and get better. Um, yeah, obviously you you want to win every game. That's That's ideal, but you got to adapt to whatever you're record is and adapt to how you're playing. 
Um, so we'll do that. How close are you to the hole being too deep to dig out of? That's a team. Um, you know, I always, you know, I think, I think ten wins usually gets you in. Uh, so we got we got to win seven out of nine. That's doable. It's doable. Uh, so we'll go from there. Do you feel like after that fourth down stop where they get the field goal and go up ten, do you feel like you kind of deviated from the game plan and started chasing from there, and that's kind of what took you into a deeper hole? Um. You know, at that point, you got to you got to draw back and throw it. You know, we got a couple completions there. You know, it just really came down to, you know, if we go down and score a touchdown on that drive, then we're down three. We're still in it. Um, you know, the interception was was tough. The guy made a good play. You know, I left it a little short. You know, I would like to have that one back, obviously. Um, and then after that, they go down and I believe they scored again. And at that point, then the uh, game's pretty much over. Did you feel like at that point, when you, uh, when you threw that ball at the interception, did you feel like y'all just needed to play? You just needed to, go to find Jamar in a deep shot? Like, what, what kind of predicated you making that decision to say, hey, I'm going to go test this? Yeah, that was, that was the call. Um, you know, safety was, was cheated over there, so I just tried to give him a, a chance and just left it a little too short. You feel like not just where you're off in the game, but maybe where you're at in the season, that's kind of a point where y'all just needed a play like that, regardless of what the outcome was going to be? Yeah, that's, that's something I always try to balance is, you know, when things aren't going your way, try not to be, uh, try not to do too much. Um, I don't think that was trying to do too much. I just, um, guy made a good play. You know, all in four at home this year, what has it been that you guys haven't been able to get the job done since then? I just haven't made the plays to, to win the game. I don't think it has anything to do with being at home or being on the road. It's just those... Those games we haven't made plays. With T, how, T, how much do you feel for two setbacks in practice and know how hard he works, how tough that's been for him? Yeah, that's, that's tough. Uh, you know, T, I know T wants to be out there with us. And, and he works really hard to, to be out there, and he's a great player. Uh, so it's obviously tough when for, for everybody, T in particular, when he's not out there. I know that there's only so much you can control from an individual standpoint, but how much has this season challenged you from a leadership standpoint in finding the balance that you're talking about between staying positive but also the accountability that's necessary for a team at 3-5? Yeah, it's challenging. Um, you know, I don't, think, I don't think anybody's been good enough so far to, to go and win the games that we needed to. They're defensive. Your defense coordinator has been around a long time. Seven different teams it changes things up. What was the second half like as opposed to the first half of him? You know, he just was was rolling through his calls. You know, not not giving away any tells. You know, the linebackers are doing a good job moving pre and post snap to to not give away rotation. Uh, you know, there was never. You know, they didn't have any coverage tendencies for any of our formations. They were just kind of calling it. And so, you know, that makes it tough on the quarterback. But uh, I felt I saw it all day. You almost said that touchdown to Jermaine. He, he almost came down. It would have been a huge play. What did you see? You know, what was your uh, view of that? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I think I left that one a little short, too. He almost made a great play on the ball. Uh, they doubled Jamar, ran the linebacker out. To, to cover the flat to the right, uh, just try to give him a chance. You just said you think winning seven of your final nine games is doable. What makes you think that? We've done it before. I know the players we got in there. That's you know he's got to treat it week by week. You know any game is winnable. Uh, he's got to go and do it.